Be careful, Neil, what you're doing. Wait, come around here. Go under there, look. You're safe under there. I'll look after you. Stay there. Hello. Mia's in a bit of a state. There's a... Uh, there's shooting going on over in the back field. She didn't used to worry about it, but as she's got older, I notice she doesn't like thunderstorms anymore. Oh, we will be all right, Mia. I won't let those nasty guns get you. It's a little cold, isn't it? I've got to adjust the chain on this. Quite an easy job to do, I think. And my new chainsaw. I think this is the one you turn. Yes, that's it. Hello everyone, I'm just about to cut this pallet up with the chainsaw but I'm not going to let you watch me do it because I know I'll get a lot of health and safety tips. <laughs> oh don't worry, I, I do, I am quite careful. I mean the thumb incident when I cut my thumb off was um, Years ago, only joking, I've got it, still got it, that's the thumb I damaged, look it's still damaged. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut that up because it's blooming freezing here. And then we're going to go for a walk, aren't we Mia? This will keep me going for today. Only problem with pallet wood is it burns really quickly, but hot, so you know, soon warms the place up. Better than paying for it. Still shooting over there. Pigeons, I expect. I quite like a wood pigeon, very tasty. I haven't had one for years. There it is, my pile of firewood for today. That um, that'll do me, keep me warm tonight. What else can I talk about today? That's my old guitar. I bought that new about fifteen years ago now. This is my great big bottle. But I put my loose change in. Look how much loose change I've got. I, I don't know how much is there. Look at it. It's all different coinage. I ought to start using that instead of raiding my bank account. Because, uh, look, two vehicle tax rem reminders have arrived. And this is where I'm up to with the guitar, the resonator guitar. I'd like to apologize to all of you who think I'm some sort of guitar genius, because I'm certainly not. This guitar has been causing me problems. Now, up there, this is, I've put a new, a lower nut on. I've made it, this is called the nut, where the strings go over. I've lowered that. And uh, I'm gonna make a new string holder thing and uh, make a new bridge there where's the other that was the bridge i made too big too high so i found this bit of metal i'm going to try and make a bridge with that and this here is a picture of mia that i drew in pastel uh the date is 2014 so it's nine years ago that's almost no. She would. She'd been with me for a year when I when I drew that. It's um. 
it's her looking out of the window pensively a beautiful girl of course if you're a married person your partner would be unlikely to put up with this sort of nonsense in their house but I ain't married anymore and I don't care life's changed so much for the better <laughs> in lots of ways and I think you must have heard me saying you're a beautiful girl because there you, there you are suddenly appeared we're going to go for a walk aren't we Mia yes we are ah, a bacon sandwich the butter was frozen <laughs> everything's frozen here today I've got no water I got a, a pipe burst when it started thawing yesterday so I had to turn the water off then it froze anyway so anyway look at that then we're going for a walk oh and I um I forgot to mention I painted it black but you might have noticed <laughs> God, it's flipping cold today but I don't think it's below freezing but it's just about on it it'll be below freezing tonight Mia doesn't mind she's just pleased to be away from all that shooting let me tell you about yesterday because it was quite a day for me it started off very early. I had to take George to work uh, because he had a blowout, tyre blowout. So I took him to work. A beautiful drive it was. It was uh, because he works past Storrington, across the South Downs. Um, and I got him to work. Then I came back. Beautiful views, beautiful. I wish I'd had my camera with me, but I didn't. Um, I'm saying beautiful views, but I don't normally see them because I don't usually get up that early. I usually go to bed that, that time. Anyway, so I, was get, I got up and uh, did that. And then I came back and went to get a tyre for him. I took, his, I took his wheel off and took it to the tyre shop. They said, uh, do you want to... it's part worn. I thought, well, I mean, I wasn't looking for a part worn tire, but I thought, oh, that's all right. So he goes looking for one, and he can't find one. Then he says, oh, would you like a new one? So I said, yeah, I'll have a new one. He said, well, that would be here tomorrow. And I thought, well, I don't want that. Tomorrow's no good. I... <laughs> so I went to another place and uh, they didn't have a part worn tire I don't know how it got into the part worn I think it's because they, they deal in part worn tires uh, I didn't ask for one anyway I got I bought a new tire it was only 40 quid because it wasn't fitted because I was going to take it back and fit it myself couldn't get the nuts off George's wheel I think they must have put it on with one of those guns, you know, whatever they're called. What are they called? Very powerful battery operated things. Um, and then, because it's so still early and I'm, I've done all this and I'm thinking, oh, I haven't had it. I've had no breakfast. I think I might have had a cup of tea. And I thought I'm going to. Now that I've done the tyre, I've finally got the tyre on. Now I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm just about to make some breakfast. And Trish phones up. It's an emergency. There's a flood in, the, in her bathroom. So I have to dash down to the house. And sure enough, there's water gushing out everywhere, out, out of the shower unit. 
so I got that I, I stopped I turned the stopcock stopped all the water then I tried to see what was wrong with the shower oh this is boring isn't it I don't know if you want to know this uh, in the end I had to dismantle the shower take it off and uh, undo all the pipe work and the electrics while standing in a bath of cold water because oh that's another thing the bath had, the bath plug was blocked up so I had to get a plunger and unplug that and uh, I got that done and then what happened oh yeah balls deep Brian's coming tomorrow to fit a new shower um, that should be fun Hang on, I can't remember what else happened. Oh yes, I remember. The um, My water in the wagon was frozen, so I had no water. And then during the day, it had unfrozen. And so I also had a burst pipe, but it was underneath the wagon and I didn't fancy crawling under the wagon so I uh, I turned it off turned the water off at a convenient stopcock uh, but I still had uh, I've still got a cold water tap so I was able to use that um, my, my brain is freezing I can't think straight I can't think what happened yeah, but yeah, because it didn't really matter because the water froze again. So I can't turn my water on. I can't have a shower, or I don't. I don't have any hot water because there's a, a burst pipe underneath the wagon. I'm trying to think what else happened yesterday. I know it was a kind of a busy day. You want to go a bit further? I know it's her paws are white as well now. That's a, an old lady, a lovely old lady. Come on, Mia, we'll just go as far as the pond and then we'll turn round. I've got plenty of clothes on, but I'm still feeling the cold a bit. I'm not complaining, I've got this theory that you can be too warm. I think that you can uh, have too much central heating. I'm sure it can't do you good to be in a centrally heated house all your life. I'm not just saying that because I'm jealous of people who've got nice warm houses. I remember up in Scotland when I first went to live there with my mum when I was I think I've worked out I was 13 years old when I first went to live in Scotland with my mother. It was cold there. Uh, there was no, no no heating in the house except there was a fireplace that my stepdad had lived with quite happily. A bit like me actually for years and years since his first wife had died. And uh, that's the only heating that he had. And he used to get up in the morning and go outside and wash himself under one of those pumps old-fashioned pumps I've got one in my own paddock um, and that's how he used to keep warm uh, keep keep himself clean uh, yeah those are different days I'm sure there are still people like me who live that kind of life but I think it's beneficial to get cold now and again and then to have a nice warm-up hasn't done me any harm we'll just look at the pond we'll just look at the pond here but don't go on it it's kind of frozen oh it's still frozen yeah no don't go down there love yeah anyway i think i've i've spoken enough 
<laughs> just trying to keep my many subscribers entertained with my life I remember up in Scotland when I first went there, my, my, my mattress was um, a feather mattress. You got, you got into bed and you just sunk down into it, it was really lovely. And uh, in the winter, you, if you didn't have enough blankets, you just put a couple of coats on them, and brought a coat up and put it over the bed as well. And uh, I used to make this hot water bottles, it was a stone, stone hot water bottle. God, it was lovely. I didn't used to like getting up in the morning. I still don't, and it's cold, but you know, you got to, haven't you? Now when I get home now, <coughs> I'm going to light the fire. I've prepared all the wood, as you saw. I'm going to light the fire. I'm going to edit this little video I'm making for you. And, uh, I'll be as snug as a bug in a rug. So, from me, and from here, we'll say goodbye now. Look after yourself. Stay warm, but not too warm. Bye. Bye.